Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is Chris at Mods and Coffee. This is my Q50S Hybrid, and I've had it officially for one year, so I wanted to do a quick review and kind of run down some of the things that I love about this car. Alright y'all, first thing, this car is amazing, when you turn it on it's always silent for the most part as long as you have full charge. So sport mode, just going to leave it in auto, show you what launch is like, check it out. Alright, manual mode, traction control off, it's supposed to help launches, most of the time this car always launches dead on full thrust. I feel like I could have slammed on the brakes harder, but I was just kind of letting the ABS do its thing there. And you just want to cruise. You know, you set your cruise control on. And literally, this car drives itself. As long as you're on a straight road, it'll stay in the lines. Accelerate. Awesome. For road trips, this is my number one favorite feature. Absolutely. Next to the MPG, because this, this car really wasn't built for MPG. It was built as a performance sport hybrid. So to be able to kind of get some of these little nannies is cool. Watch how it's going to maybe do the turn. Eh, maybe. Yeah. Almost is going to do it again. Eh, eh, not quite. See, it's really, it, hey, it's doing it, but don't trust it still still holding the line just barely but as you can see that's awesome I love that feature you guys I really love that feature so overall I've changed some things on the car swapped the front grille with a black grille if you've been following black fog light bezels I changed the rear end out to the 2018, 2019, whatever, the most updated rear end. It's refreshed with that, the tail lights in the trunk and the bumper, red sport bumper. Gonna do the front end soon, <laughs> gotta, gotta make it all match, you know. I also switched out the rotors to two-piece Z1 Motorsports rotors, which I gotta say, 30,000 miles later, they're warped. Big surprise there. This is actually the second set of Z1s I've owned on a vehicle, and. They're awesome rotors. They save you about 30 pounds on this vehicle. However, once you hit so many miles, they'll, they'll warp and you can't, there's nothing to do to really surface these. Like I've talked to a couple shops and they won't resurface them. So I think I'm due to get another set soon. So some other things too, I blacked out the car. 
I just got window tint. <laughs> so the car is, you know, full ceramic tint, 50%, and I've got a 70% tint up front. So it's like a clear blue tint because we get a lot of heat out here in the desert and I really wanted to keep it cool. And I guess I finally bit the bullet and got away from the fishbowl life, which I was a part of for so long. And I gotta say I'm happy I went with the tin. So I also added a couple other blacked out things. I had the carbon fiber mirrors and the blacked out handles. They're actually OEM handles that I got on eBay, black, that way I didn't have to, you know, wrap them. And I put them on the vehicle and just wrapped the little chrome piece. And then I got this funny little black Audi style spoiler lip, which I really like. It's tiny. It's kind of like a G-string, but it just looks good on the car. It's not overly sporty and it just, it's subtle little look that I think actually brings the rear end alive. It just gives a little hint of like, I don't know. I like that kind of like Audi look, I guess you could say. <laughs> so the other cool thing too is when you're in eco mode, everything turns green, be coasting around. If you give it light throttle, I've got it, in, you know, like it'll just shut off all the lights turn green. It says EV mode. And then you can kind of just cruise with the power and the battery until you give it a little, usually about 20% throttle, the gas motor will take over. If you learn how to really feather it, you can use just the power in the batteries. Now, something I want to also say. This vehicle has artificial sound. It's pumped in. Yes, you guys, of course it does. Come on, everything does right now. So artificial sound pumped in through the speakers when you're in sport. So when you get on it, you can hear it. So it's <laughs> it can be turned off. There's a setting in here you can go through to turn it off. Another thing I love about this car, the stereo system is baller. It's got a subwoofer, it's a 14 speaker system. It blows away the Harman Kardon I had in my WRX. And it's way better than the sound system, the, the Bose sound system, the other one in my QX70. This one is definitely, definitely takes the cake. Sounds great, lots of bass, high, high clarity, fidelity. Everything is just super clear and precise and very, very punchy. So I love the sound system, that sells it for me because I'm a musician and it really, you know, I'm an audiophile and I needed to have a sound system like that. Some drawbacks on this are the two screen system and the cameras at night are basically useless. Literally, if you're backing up, it's like you're in 1990, like CCTV footage or whatever, it's, it's awful. However, the 360 camera is great for parking. That's really cool. And if you don't, you know, you want to try to keep your wheels from being curb rashed, anytime you park, that 360 camera really helps. Something else I really want to touch on is the direct adaptive steering. It's completely electronic. I really like the direct adaptive steering because when you're taking a lot of bumps and railroad tracks and other things in the highway or road, whatever it is, it never pulls the car or any, you don't ever feel it in the wheel, you don't get the little shimmy like, oh, I hit a bump and like you start tracking that direction or you're feeling it really a lot in the steering wheel. That's something I kind of wanted. I wanted, <laughs> I wanted a dead feel. I wanted it to be just dead on straight, accurate every time I'm driving it, no matter what the conditions kind of are. And you know, there, yeah, there's some drawbacks. If you're gonna drive this on a racetrack, you're gonna not like it. That's not what it's designed for. This is really designed more for comfort and one of the best things is when you're cruising at really high speed, it doesn't even feel like it because the steering is just like a stiff brick at that speed. And it feels like you are just so safe and it's solid. It doesn't matter how many bumps you're hitting, all the micro adjustments happening with the computer just keeps everything dead center. And that's exactly what I wanted. Just like the most precise steering I could get. And you know, compared to like say an STI with hydraulic steering, that's, it's, it's almost the same stiffness. I swear to God, this sport electronic, whatever manipulation that's going on, it is super heavy in sport. And you just feel like you are, you have tons of control. Now, if you're on a track, again, it is, you are gonna not know what the wheels are really doing. However, this is a hybrid, <laughs> like a hybrid,
hybrid daily car. It's not meant to go on the track. At least I would not take it on the track. The other cool thing is the headlights are also steering adaptive. So when you turn, the headlights turn. Love that feature and everything's full LED. It's super bright at night. It's a great choice. So the other awesome thing about this vehicle, the paddle shifters, they're magnesium and they're stuck on the center column, you guys. So look at this, like if you're doing a U-turn, you can still, oh my gosh, like they don't move. That just makes sense. Why would you put sh paddle shifters when the, on the wheel that turns? It just, it's never made sense to me. My Grand Cherokee was that way. It drove me crazy. Infinity's always had that dial, just like the GTR. This is, you know, keep the freaking paddles on the column. And they feel great, they're magnesium. Talking about the power, this vehicle has 360 horsepower. And from what I've read online, there's so many kind of mixed things because it's measured in nano, nano whatever, like 472 foot-pounds of torque, roughly, and I guess that's, you know, at the crank or whatever it's at the wheels obviously you're not going to be there i think people have measured at the wheels and it's about 420 which is still awesome for a stock vehicle that this little like electric engine really has some torque i also want to touch on the seats the seats are phenomenal they are way better than my wrx they have the little lumbar support, like control buttons, and the front of the seat, like down here, slides in and out on both sides, on passenger and driver. That's awesome, that's a great feature. It kind of, you know, gives you that extra support on your thighs and also can relieve pressure from your back. It's great for road trips. This is such an awesome, amazing car for road trips. And I even took it once. I think we drove all the way from Sedona, Arizona and got pretty darn close to El Paso. We were just outside of Las Cruces and I think it was like 515 miles that I got to one tank. It was super impressive and that's great for sports sedan. 515 miles to a tank? Sign me up. All right, I also wanna to touch on some of the issues that I've had with the vehicle. Number one being, like I said earlier, change the fluids in the transfer case transmission or else you're just gonna to start to get slippage and it's just not gonna accelerate and have the same thrust. You know, a lot of that thrust and the way the dual clutch system works in tandem with the electric engine, gas engine, and transmission, it's all in line. North torque converter, you gotta keep all those fluids clean and fresh, otherwise you're gonna slip. So that's my number one complaint, okay? Second complaint, the brakes are super touchy. Probably because the regenerative braking system, they're very touchy. There's like been TSBs and recalls, I think, to fix some of this kind of things, but it's very touchy. And I, th I believe, it's my belief that it warps the rotors faster. And that's just my belief. I, th I just feel like it does. I mean, granted, I'm the idiot who's running two-piece rotors on here to save weight. <laughs> Still, they warp incredibly fast, I think. If you all are thinking of picking up a Q50 hybrid, Get the 2015 because it's the last year of the sport and you can get on it. You get the big brakes. You get the instant electric thrust. And you get the blue S, which I took off my car, but it does come with a blue S. It's not a red S like the red sport. I'm sure there are some things I'm leaving out about this vehicle. However, I wanna say that overall, really happy with this purchase it was exactly what I had hoped for and more and the thrust you get from the electric engine is just endless amounts of fun I can take just about anybody off the line this thing launches so quick just it's just it's crazy like the electric thrust is awesome it really it feels like a roller coaster it just pulls you back in your seat instantly and that's really what sold me on this car. Like I, I heard this had the most torque out of all the Q50s and they're completely right. This thing, the torque on this thing is insane. It's a, it's a monster. 
and I'm so happy I went with it. And all the tech features, the comfort features, the safety features, the aesthetics, it's the whole package, you guys. This really is such a great car to buy used because they don't make this vehicle anymore. So if you want to grab yourself one of these vehicles, I highly recommend it. And make sure you just keep up with the maintenance. That's all I got to say. Thank you so much for joining. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell notification so you get notified when my new videos come out. And drop me a comment and I'll get back to you. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week. I'll see you all soon. Peace.